What's up for this week? A brisk menthol laden shave. Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina and today it's going to be a blustery, wintry, slightly brisk shave, menthol laden as I said in the intro. Uh, it's going to be the Sudsy Soapery. This is the Frosted Lemon in their tallow base. Let me just show you what that looks like. Beautiful yellow color which I think is really cool. Mm, and this just has kind of a very strong, bright, kind of a sharp, lemony scent to it. Um, it is mentholated. It is the tallow-based formula. I really like these soaps, and I thought I would go for kind of a brisk, wintry shave, which has been great so far. I have a bit of this pressed into the loading bowl. This is normally kind of a kind of a soft, tacky soap. Obviously, it's uh, you know it's been sitting on for a couple of days, for close to a week now. So this should be plenty for the shave. The only risk of the way that I do it is to try to preserve the original soap. So if I pass it on, I've never actually touched that soap. I've only ever scooped out of it with a, with a spoon. Is that you end up at the end of the week with maybe not enough, but I think that's going to be plenty for today's shave. I'm going to be using the Rodney Lignum Vitae. This is, of course, the, uh, the big bore brush. I'll just leave that soaking in some water again. Uh, let's just talk about the soap just so you can kind of see it. It is very soft and kind of pasty and sticky so if you are loading directly from the container just be aware that if you're using kind of a stiffer brush or one with a very large surface area you may be picking up a lot more soap than you realize and you're going to need to add quite a bit of water so just make sure you're not overloading because of the texture of the soap today's razor is going to be the half de razor from yaki so this is a half DE that uses a half DE blade where you've simply snapped it into two. This is one half of the blade. You just basically take the blade and the wrapper and you just bend it into two and it snaps quite easily. And you end up with two half blades, which this half looks like that. Very simple. So the way this works is you basically take the, the top cap here. I'm going to put this together con sa please bear with me just for a moment um where to put that blade there we go so basically this the, the half blade just sort of fits in and rests in the top cap ah hold on there we go this is going to be a little bit hard to show you but i'm going to try without having the blade slip out it basically sort of fits in and you'll have the two half holes now fitting up against the post there there is not a corner post that will hold the blade in place. It's simply held in place by the fact that it's resting up against those two posts. So uh, let me just put that in place. Put the top cap on. There we go. And you can see there, top cap just fits in, just holds the blade nice and tight. There's no overhang. Let me just screw the, the, uh, the handle on. First, without the washer, so you can see there is one, one design issue with the way this razor is constructed. And this is a design flaw that Yaki knows about and they are going to be fixing. If you take a careful look, you'll see that the base plate is curved on the bottom. There's a natural curve to the shape because it kind of follows the natural curve of the razor head. But that introduces a gap here where because the base plate bottom is not flat, the flat end of the, of the handle, of course, doesn't meet flush. They are going to be fixing that in an upcoming version of this razor head. I've not seen this for sale on their site, so this may well be kind of an early prototype that's gone out to some people. Um, they're definitely going to fix that design flaw because it needs to be flat and flush. So I am using a washer on there, which helps quite a bit because you can then snug this up against there. There we go. As you can see, now that gap is filled in a little bit more and the front end of the handle is quite tight up against the washer and the bottom of the base plate. Now, if you take a look at the, at the head, that looks like a lot of blade exposure. Um, if you hold it to the side, I know this is hard to see on camera, but it looks like there is quite a bit of positive blade exposure. So blade edge 
that is intersecting the natural curve of the top cap to the base plate. So you might think this is going to be kind of an aggressive, maybe a somewhat chattery blade feel shave, but I can tell you already that is not the case. Surprisingly comfortable and very easy to use. Let me get my face wet again. We'll go ahead and build up the lather and start shaving. It's interesting because there's been quite a quite a discussion in some of the Reddit forums about the benefits of this half DE blade versus just a regular DE, and we'll get into that when we start shaving with it. Um, I'm not totally convinced of the benefit of that. I think it's kind of a cool design, but we'll talk about why it maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference anyway. All right, Sudsy Soapery. This is the Frosted Lemon Tallow-Based Soap. Relatively dry brush. And we'll start picking up as much as we can of the soap from the remainder of this week's allotment. Yeah, I feel like for this soap, it definitely feels better just to start off with a dryer brush and then add water. And you will need to add water. This can be quite a thirsty soap. If you like going for a very wet lather up front, then of course, knock your socks off. Start with a wet brush and just build up a kind of a nice soupy, bubbly lather. And then that will obviously come together on your face as well. And yes, I'm still a big proponent of the face lathering, even with the very wet lather. All right, so as you can see, well, now you can see, that's starting to build up a nice little, nice little lather inside the bowl. That's looking pretty well loaded, but I'm going to add just a drop of water in there, help the brush pick up a bit more soap, start building the lather in there. You can see what's starting to happen now. That's already starting to form kind of a nice sleek sheen to it but it's not nearly wet enough, so just give us a moment. All right, that feels like plenty. All right, wet my face. Sort of the mantra there. Make sure this stays good and wet. Again, that went all over the aftershave bottle. Let's get that worked up. We may need to add a bit more water. Yeah, I really like the scent on this. This is kind of just a really bright, strong, um, this is not a subdued lemon scent. You can feel the menthol already. It's not overly mentholated. And it's got a nice, a nice cooling feel to it, not one of those kind of face freezing soaps. You can see how that's holding together. That still feels a little heavy, but that does sound a little wet. So just add a bit more water, to kind of paint it in. I feel like the brush is moving nice and smoothly over that lather, but it still feels a little airy. So we're going to add just a touch of water to that. And you should feel the brush be able to move really without any resistance through or over the soap on your face. Yeah, that is looking very nice. Yeah, I really like these Sudsy Soapery Soaps. Say that three times fast. Really easy to lather. I like the mix of scents. Um, this is a nicely mentholated option. Now, if you're wondering kind of why, let me just rinse off this bottle here before we get going. If you're kind of wondering why a bit of a brisk, wintry menthol shave, well, because it's nice. Sometimes you get outside in a nice, brisk, cold morning. It's just refreshing to take that big breath of really good, clean, cold air. Kind of what this feels like. All right, so Yaki Half DE slash Single Edge. Now, this is a... This is a mild slash comfortable razor. That blade edge looked like it might be overly aggressive and it's just not the case.
This is a Gillette Wilkinson sword blade. I got five shaves off the first half and I would expect to get five shaves off this half. And if I was using the blade in the DE, I would expect to get 10 shaves out of it. Yeah, and the thing about this is that although this is, of course, a half a DE, comfortable, easy design, mild, quite pleasant to use. I don't know if I could describe to you a particular benefit that comes from the fact that it's half of a DE. I think this razor would shave just as well if the other half of this DE was present because the head design of the geometry would be exactly the same on either side of that middle bar. So hard to say really. Is this really any different than shaving just with one half of a DE razor and not flipping it over during the shave? Yeah, and I'm personally not convinced that there's something that you can do in the head geometry in terms of rigidness or curve control or blade exposure, curvature of the blade compared to the, the natural line between the top cap and the base plate. That's any different because it's half of a DE head as opposed to the full. Because you think you could just mirror that and you'd have the same geometry and the same options just twice over. You know, breaking a DE blade doesn't make it any sharper, doesn't make that one edge last any longer. Now, I'm not arguing against this because it does shave well, but I don't know that it has any kind of natural benefit because of the design that you can't get off a DE razor. I think it looks cool. And it's a bit of an interesting throwback to gem style single edge razors where maybe you're kind of trying to mimic that a little bit by using a DE blade. All right, this is going to be the across the grain. Yeah, this is just really good soap. And the fact that this razor is as comfortable as it is Makes for a very pleasant, very easy shave. Now this razor definitely tends more towards comfortable than efficient. So this has given me a couple either BBS or very close to it shaves this week. But I have done a fourth touch up pass. Razor sounds pretty good, really easy to use. I'm using this on one of the, uh, just a different color of the standard Yaki handle, which has got very nice knurling. Yeah, and I have to give them some credit for the fact that they're not kind of just standing still with their current collection. They keep trying, you know, a couple of different, couple of different things. And the more options, the better. I know there's at least one other um, single edge or half DE razor out there. And it seems like that one's a bit more aggressive. Maybe a little, uh, just different, uh, different blade edge control. And this one is 
like I said, quite mild, very easy to use. All right, last pass. Unless I decide to do a quick fourth touch up. Combination of the soap, the razor made for, as I said, very easy shaves this week. Surprisingly comfortable. I really expected that to be a bit more aggressive and frankly to be kind of hard to use because the last razor head I tried from Yaki was the uh, the ones with those ridges in the top. Those are just overly aggressive for me. There we go. We'll see how it goes. If I have enough lather left in the brush for a very quick from here down uh, touch up pass, maybe I'll do that. All right, this is the against the grain. Good sound to it. That is where the razor is. You can definitely feel sort of the balance towards comfort and not efficiency. It just takes a little extra work to really get down to the uh, down to the the baby butt. Yeah, one of the reasons I enjoy these Sudsy Soapery soaps is because they really just work. Really easy to lather. Very good slickness. Good cushion or protection. Like you can really feel the soap is helping really just move the razor very slick and kind of clean over your skin. Apologies for the rumbly tummy. Yeah, just a really, really easy, quick shave. All right. Let's see how much lather is left in the brush. And I think I can pull out just a little bit remaining from the bowl. Let's do a really quick touch up here. Quick rinse of the hands. All right. Wow, so easy, just lovely shave. I mean, that is one of the reasons why I'm kind of a fan of the, of the more mild razors. It's just kind of a, a lot less worry. You can just sort of shave kind of on automatic pilot. There we go. Soap is surprisingly easy to, easy to rinse off, given how fatty it is. Because this is a tallow based, I think this is still a triple butter soap. Scent strength, by the way, for that lemon stays nice and strong throughout the shave. Post shave is also pretty good. You know, as I've said, my skin definitely this time of year needs that little extra bit. 
So no tightness, no heat, no irritation, very nice smooth shave, really nice. Easy, easy shave, comfortable and easy, and that's what I'm looking for. All right, now, it sometimes happens that you just get lucky and things show up by surprise and it's perfect timing because I started off with a mentholated product this week, but I did not have what I thought was a good, not a great option in terms of the aftershave. I've got a couple, but Captain's Choice out of the blue sent me this Nor'easter aftershave, which as you can see is mentholated. So this is a perfect fit. It not a, it's not a, an exact match um, for the scent, but it doesn't need to be. This scent is a recreation of the original Drakkar. And what I get out of this is um, actually a pretty good hit of citrus. What feels like a, like a touch of juniper and cedar wood and some musk. And frankly, it smells really good. And it is what I have to describe as just one of those very simple, straightforward, great feeling aftershaves. It's alcohol, witch hazel, glycerin, fragrance and menthol and that's it so it goes on there's a bit of the alcohol dry down there's the soothing effect of the witch hazel mm. smells really good but you can see there is a real distinct dry down although there is glycerin in here i would not describe this or i would not use this as a moisturizing aftershave i guess this to be one of the more kind of traditional alcohol and or simple alcohol and witch hazel based aftershaves that's a real aftershave face feel kind of like the fine aftershaves or some of the mirasols things like that well man i am exceedingly happy with that shave that turned out really well and for a brisk winter morning a nice blast of cooling the menthol in the aftershave lasts for a little bit it builds slowly and then tapers off doesn't last long but enough to really enjoy the cooling effect and that's great after a shave like that so let us once again, my friends, run through the products for today that have delivered this really wonderful shave. Sudsy Soapery, towel-based formula. This is the Frosted Lemon. Very easy to use, great thickness, very good protection. I like the scent. It's got a nice, strong, kind of sharp, in-your-face lemon scent. Like I said, very easy to use. can take quite a bit of water. Uh, if you're loading directly out of the container, as I said at the beginning, just watch how much you're getting on your brush because it might be quite easy to overload and you need to add quite a bit of water to this. This is one of those soaps that the lather will look like it's ready kind of before it is. Keep adding a touch of water. Make sure that you can really feel the brush moving without resistance through the lather on your face. All will be well. Beautiful stuff. Love it. Very glad they sent that for review. Today's now well-rinsed razor from Yaki. This is the Half DE razor head. Um, as I noted, there is a design flaw with the structure of the base plate. That is going to be fixed when this goes back and is made available. I didn't see it on the site, so this may not be actually purchasable yet. But when it is, I'm sure that that problem will be, will be fixed. I'm not worried about that one bit. Very easy to use. Comfortable, mild shave. No blade edge chatter. No sensation that is somehow out of control at all. You are snapping a blade in half, and you are just using this smaller head to, uh, to screw this all together. But it's easy to use, easy to assemble, very, very good shaves all week. BBS or close to it, frankly, and uh, really not hard to do at all. Very happy they sent that for review because it's kind of fun, a little bit different, and that's always, always a good thing. Uh, finally, the aftershave, perfect timing by Captain's Choice, out of the blue. This is a great scent fit and also just a really nicely mentholated aftershave that goes really well with the frosted lemon shaving soap. Nor'easter, wonderful scent, nice touch of lemon. Like I said, I think there's a bit of juniper in there for me. Some cedar and some musk are kind of maybe the four things I pick out of there. Those may not be right, I have no idea, but that's what I smell in the aftershave. Very nice stuff, nice clean aftershave face feel to it. And let's not forget our dear friend Rodney Lignum Vitae Bore. One of my favorite brushes, still one of my favorite brushes, always gonna be one of my favorite brushes. Love it to pieces. Well, on that heartfelt note, I think it is time to say thank you once again for watching these videos. As always, I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these. As always, please feel free to leave a comment or question against this video or any previous video, and I'll try to get back to those as quick as I can. If you, by the way, entered and won one of the giveaway kits and you haven't yet responded to my email address listed in the winning video that tells you who won and how to contact me, 
please do so. I have boxes of stuff ready to go because you entered, you won. And now the final step of this is for me to send you a full kit box. So if you did win, please get, make sure that you let me know at michael.friedberg at outlook.com as it says in that winner's video. Otherwise, thank you again so much for watching and until next time, goodbye.